Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. In the previous two videos, we have been discussing about how to create a or how to build an extension in Business Central. So here you can find it. This is my playlist. Okay, and you can find my playlist in my channel, Gomes Tech Talks channel. Okay, so subscribe it if, if you haven't subscribed it. And if you want to join as a community member, you can please join where will, you will get a lot of perks and all the documents whatever i'm discussing in my video so if you just go to my playlist you can see various uh, various playlist on business central this is for functional consultant this is in tamil business central and this is interview questions business central interview questions business central mini projects and here you can see the complete uh, learning path okay so we are in the learning process so previously i have created uh, two tables and today we are going to discuss further uh, so before discussing further i would like to give you an overview okay like what are the table we are we will be creating what are the pages we will be creating what are the table extension page extension and the code in it and after this we will see how we are extending a table and a page okay so this two things we will see in the today's session so the first one is we will be we have already created reward level extension sorry reward level table which you can see in the table uh, episode one and activation code also we have created and uh, we have had to create customer reward management setup table mm -hmm and we have to create the page okay so reward level list page a reward level wizard page so this is a list type so in page we have various types of page if you don't know what are the types of page in business central please let me know in the comment i'll help you or you can also go to my playlist and you can check what are the types of pages here okay or if you want only like how to what are the various types of pages you wanted to see just comment and this is a navigation type okay these two are the basic types. so let us see one by one so first one is what is the reward level page so the reward level page used to store different le reward levels and the points that are required to acquire an award level for uh, for your extension okay so which we are going to create it the second one is activation code information which is uh, uh, used to store activation information for the extension in the table you will store okay and the third one is what uh, we'll be creating a customer reward management setup which is to uh, store information about the code in it that should be used to handle events in the extension okay and talking about the pages okay we have two pages one is reward level list page where it has the source uh, table as the reward level table okay this is the one okay and we'll have the trigger on that that is on open page okay and the second one is customer reward uh, navigation page so what is this reward level list page and why it is used here so uh, the reward level list page will enable the user to view edit or add new reward levels and their corresponding minimum required points okay so we'll be creating don't worry in the further episodes and uh, the second one is customer rewards uh, wizard okay so the uh, this uh, this particular wizard page that is navigation page which enables the user to accept the terms for using the activation extension okay like whenever you open any app no it will be showing you some um, uh, agreement or some terms and conditions so this will be useful for that okay we'll be creating a welcome uh, this page we'll be creating some things like a welcome page or something i'll just show you when we created no i'll show you don't worry so this is all about the pages so these two pages we are going to create and the third one is the extension okay table level extension and page level extension what are the extension which we are going to create so what we are going to extend the customer table where we'll be uh, we'll be adding a reward points okay if you want to know more about what is table extension you can go and watch in my um watch in my channel in the playlist you can see what is table and page extension here okay so table and page extension is very important so where we'll be if you wanted to get the access if you want to access the existing page content or if you want to add some more thing into it you can you'll be using a table extension and next one is the page extension we'll be extending the customer card page where we'll be adding reward level reward points and we'll be adding a trigger on after trigger and the customer list page where we'll be adding the reward level trigger on action and finally we'll have a code unit okay so we have to create three coordinates here so the first one is customer reward extension management 
so uh, what this particular uh, extension is going to that is a code in it is going to talk about is what uh, the this particular reward extension management code in it encapsulate most of the logic and functionality that is required for the customer reward extension so this particular code in it contains examples of how you can use events to react to a specific action or a behavior that occurs within your extension okay so here we'll be calling an external services or a API to validate the uh, validate activation codes that are entered by the user. So yes, this is a main logic we are going to write it here. And the second one is the customer reward assisted setup. Okay, what is this customer reward assisted setup page? So this is also a page actually where we'll be. This is to activate the customer reward assisted setup we have right so here we'll be writing a step by step guidance that helps to simplify the process of setting up complex features so here we'll be writing more and more easy um events okay to make your uh, to make your extension better and the finally you will be writing the customer reward installation logic code in it where a code in it here uh, will be using used to encapsulate the set of related functionality that is represented by procedures and variables and we install to install an install code in it is a code in it which with the subtype property set to install okay so this code in it will provide a set of triggers that are run when the extension is installed for the first time or when the same version is reinstalled so this is what we are going to see completely so already i have completed uh, the basic tables okay and today i'll be discussing about the table extension and page extension why because why i'm not going with the um pages because you know like we have to first understand we have to uh, create these two table extension and with this table extension we'll be writing this code unit okay and this code unit we have to invoke in this page so in the pages so that is why so the next video uh, we'll be understanding code unit we'll be creating the code unit and finally we'll be creating the pages Yes, let us uh, start creating a table extension, two table extensions. So we have to create a extension. One is a table extension and two page extension. So why should we do this? Because already we have a base table, which is called as a customer table. We wanted to add some more fields or some more triggers into that particular customer table. So we cannot directly go and edit it. So where you can find it, you can find it in the AL object designer okay if you go to al object designer so here it will load all the tables pages and all the objects which are designed by microsoft itself if you want to do some addition to that so you have to you have to actually go and um uh, you have to extend the table extend the page or extend the specific object and do that okay so here we are going to uh, extend the customer table Okay, if you want to store anything, then you have to extend that particular table. So customer table is already there. So I'm just going to store something over there. Okay, so customer table and even for this table extension, since this is an object, you have to assign a ID for that. And this is a name of the customer table. And finally, this is the existing base table. And here you have a field where I'm just adding a reward points to the base table. Okay so this is a minimum value this is a metadata of the table and next talking about this if you wanted to see this in the page okay since we have extended the table this is used to store but if you want to see that in the page you have to do the changes in the customer card as well so even the page extension i'm doing the page extension where i'm extending the customer card so i'm adding one more uh, variable here reward level and i'm just creating the field for that okay so these are all the field level properties which you want to set it and if you want to make it editable means which means that the uh, person who is working with this should not uh, change this in the sense you can make it editable as false okay and if they can change by default it will be editable true got it and this trigger we will understand once we create the code in it okay so don't worry about this trigger just create the page extension till here and this is a card page extension where else you can see this is the list page extension so with the list page extension we are not adding any field but we are just adding the action to the list page okay that is the reward level so i have created the image uh, that is the image property for the list page 
and um, promoted is big promoted category promoted and everything so regarding all these things you know like all these properties i have already discussed in the uh, in the previous videos that you can check it in my um playlist gomes tech talks playlist okay that is a bc playlist so you can go and find it over there and don't worry about this trigger we will first create that code in it and then we will come back to this trigger okay so don't worry about it yes so we have completed the today's video uh today's session about uh, extensions and the next video we will discuss about the code in it stay tuned to see more bye